Hello, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be painting. Um, it's nothing you haven't seen already. I just figured I'd do it um, just to share some time with you guys. Um, my creative journey has taken me to a place that I'm just not posting as many videos as I once did, and I hope you forgive me. I, I still love sharing with you what I love, but sometimes I feel like I've just... Um, been there done that so um, anywho lately I've been working on creating my own designs and trying to uh, do it in different ways so some with color so I made this Hamsa hand and I did it with color and I was dotting remember so it kind of evolved I painted it but then because I did one with just dotting so I just wanted to take you through the uh, evolution. Um, I shared this in a previous video too, I think. So I, I've been dotting, and I liked the way when I covered all the black with color, how that looked. So I tried to do it with these kind of emblems that I've been working with, these mystical kind of symbolism of spirituality. and. With the dotting, I just didn't feel like it came out, it didn't pop as much as I wanted, so I kind of changed it and tweaked it. And so that's what I've been doing. Um, so today I'm working with wood burning, and I'm going to go ahead and just keep it with the, I, I've been using three colors, brown, gold, and white. And when I first did this sugar skull, which I filmed and I did not upload, um, I just felt like I lost a lot of the brightness of the white because a skull is white and so when I redid them I tried to I made the fishy a little smaller the Jesus fish and um, I brightened it up a little bit and I made the eye bigger I wish I would have made my son bigger I traced on the smaller son from a different pattern anyway I said all this in a different video anyway when I went I went to Hobby Lobby recently and I got three of these little boxes. These were $1.50 and, and they weren't on sale. I missed the sale. The week before it was a sale, but I needed some boxes. I wanted to make, so I got three of those. I got two of these, which was $3.50 and all of this wood is nice to burn on and that was why I did it. Um, and then I got one of these, which I don't know. I just wanted something that had a, um, a vertical instead of always being like this right so I wanted it to be vertical it's like a little jewelry box and it has this I thought a I think ATC's will fit in here but I thought I was going to be able to put my affirmation cards that I got from um, mindful souls in here and I could keep some rocks in here that I get or any of the little um, see like I could keep maybe keep that in here you know any of the little things that I get from mindful souls that I'm just not using at the moment like this little I have a lotus leaf lotus flower pendant but so I started designing and I put the hamsa hand on there the same one that I've been doing it's just in a smaller version and of course I wanted to try it with color again so see this is it in the burned the burned colors with the white gold and brown and this is it with color I'm not in love with it like I kinda you know and I burned the whole background so when I, and then I put a sunflower on the side and I just I'm not thrilled with the colors I don't know what I was doing with these flowers so it it was just a lesson learned for me what I what I learned is I need to design the piece before I go to the before I go to the piece and I just want to sit down and create on the piece a lot of times because of my um, I don't want to say laziness but it, it's kind of a like a form of laziness that I just I don't want to do all the work on a separate substrate and then have to repeat it all onto the piece and that is where I'm gonna get my better results so that is what I should do but I still just tend to go right to the piece and start designing. So then I, I'll make a mistake on here and you can't get it off here like I could on paper. So anyway, I'll do this again. I really loved the, um, the, 
the triangle design. I love that. And I don't hate the sunflower. It's just something about it, you know, I need to change. I don't like my center at all. Um, I don't like the just random flowers here, like maybe one or two bigger flowers. Um, I like, of course, I love the Hamsa hand. The hearts are okay. I could do a different corner piece. But anyway, designing is so, such a different animal than what I've always done. In, with decorative painting because I'm used to having a teacher who gives you a pattern and tells you the colors to use and where to put them it's such a it's a, a I always say I don't like thinking right I don't you don't have to think you're just in a zone you know what to do anyway so this is it's not a fail but it's not I don't love it you know and I mean someone else may like I don't love this blue that I just, it's just the color of the blue, it's not appealing to me that I did. It's a light blue and this is actually green. So I probably should have done it green, I don't know. Like it's just all over the place, just like me right now. Um. Okay, these, so then this one I loved and I just thought, well what would fit on here? A small box, I just took the eye from this piece. I could have put a Jesus fish and maybe I will, just the little fishy on top. Um, and then I just started picking the, here it is right here, I, I took a tracing of the design, cut it apart, and just traced different elements of the design onto the box. So this is the eye. Um, I put a fishy on the sides and I put the hearts here, which I don't love. I don't love the front at all. I like the back a lot more and that's where I ended up going with the um with the next one I did which I love um, I put this I did kind of I do love the pops of white so then when I add my dots and all that stuff um, I also burned the little divot in the box where's the other one here so the box comes with this like little raised portion of the of the lid so there's this divot space in here and I didn't know quite what to do with it so I ended up burning it and I do like that. I just wanted to try it and say, I mean, really until you do it, you don't know what it's gonna look like and I don't hate this box. I just know that like I don't love the way the hearts are and just these little random, it's just random. Like I, I designed it on the box instead of, you know, going away and thinking about it. So when I redid it, and look, there's some differences. Um, I put a little line around the top. So I kind of framed it, and then I did this in gold this time. So I painted this divot here with gold. Just to see, and I mean, looking at it from above, uh, I could do both, believe it or not. Like, I could frame it so I could have framed this one and put a gold line around it and had the dark line you know what I mean so but for the most part they're very they're very much the same on top then I took this pattern that I loved and put it on the front and I mean I it's wonky this wood is very soft and I burn very hot so again my patience has to I have to just be in the moment and accept what is and make sure I'm doing that and not rush into it. And it was late when I did this, so there are certain things, right? But I just put the stars and the um, sun and the moon around the whole box instead of, um, I just put two moons over here. I could have put a star, but there was a star right there. So I put two stars, you know what I mean? So maybe I'll go moon star next time because I have one more box. So I'll put a star, a sun, and a moon, and then just stars again. But I really love this one. The other thing I did was I, did I put Evans? See, I just put Sarah on the bottom, and this one I put Sarah Evans. I used the sparkle varnish, which actually I used starlight varnish, I think. One's by Americana, and one's by Folk Art. I can't find this anymore. I've had it for a very long time. But I do love that. I added just that glitter to it. I think a piece like this, because it's magical, you can do that. And because it's like a, you know, the moon, the stars, and the sun, and even an eye has some sparkles. So that was fun. Well, I varnished it first with, with just satin, but then I threw that on there, and I think I would even go harder with it. Um, so yeah, and then I put my chakra rocks in here. 
So there are seven rocks, and I got these at, I want to say, TJ Maxx. Um, and they come with this little gemstones, chakra stones. It tells you all about the chakra, the seven chakra, and then the crystal that aligns with each one. And um, I just think they're wonderful. And I thought, well, I wanted to gift these to people. So I have little chakra boxes to just put the stones in. Now, I, if they had more of these, I would have bought them all up. So I will continue to look for these. Um, they're $5.99, and I think that's an awesome price because uh, I went to a crystal store and a stone could be $5.99. So anyway, this I'm very pleased with, and these boxes, like I said, they're only $1.50 at Hobby Lobby. So, um, especially on sale, you can pick these up for nothing and just have them in your stash, and then, um, I didn't, I do sand them but have them in your stash for when you need a gift or something. Um, so I love these. Um, they're just adorable. I'm pretty happy with the design is what I'm getting at. And then the last one was this oval shaped one. This was 350 and it's the same type of wood, very soft wood. And I found that out kind of the hard way when you're working on this and you're burning. But this is how this piece turned out. Same as this rectangular one, just a little bigger version. Um, I'm going to paint this with you. I'm going to paint this. I'm going to come back and paint this. And it's just the stars and the moon and the sun. A couple of suns, but I, I think it's fun. And I think, um, see that's where the sticker was. I could probably sand that off. But I think that I could stain this box. There's so much you could do to it. I'm going to sand it a little better. But if I did have a gift that I wanted to give someone, why not give it in a box that I created? Um, they're just fun and they take really quick to make. So I will be back um, to share me painting this and I'm gonna do it in the brown, white, and gold. I could go color, but I just don't think, I don't know, because I've done my mandalas with color. Um, this one, look, I have another one. This one I'm going to do in the same as this. And then the next one I do, I will do with color so that I can see the difference. I have, I'm a visual person. I need to see it to know. So that's it, you guys. I'll be back. Thanks for watching.